right. You see, there's a thin line between genius and insanity down on Earth. Mm -hmm. And they think what we're doing is madness. We would like to show you and show the world that there is a method. Up like something from outer space. Elton John, David Bowie, Alice Cooper, Lord have mercy, they're all survived. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? So I wanted to do a quick follow-up on my videos about angular resolution and perspective to first demonstrate that there is no observable curvature. We are still waiting for someone to discover this elusive curvature. And then I would like to show why buildings are seemingly cut off at the horizon, bottom first, which the cult of scientism storytellers claim is due to the edge of a spinning ball in complete ignorance of the fact that there are other possibilities that actually make more sense. So first off these shots here are taken in Ormond Beach and show a lighthouse that is 16 miles away. This lighthouse is 175 feet tall and notice that the focal plane of the light is only 168 feet above sea level. Now, when we do the math, there should be 117 feet hidden behind the curve with a camera height of 5 feet. I was standing on the beach with the water hitting my feet, resting the camera on a 4-foot sign. The gross curvature is actually 170 feet, so when you look at the shot, you can see that practically the entire lighthouse is visible behind the pier. I'm sorry, but there's a problem with what the so-called scientists claim, yet most people continue to have faith in them, which is understandable because they either don't even look into the topic or they could never entertain the fact that they could be misled. So next we have the hotel at 17.6 miles away and 147 feet should be hidden behind the curve. The hotel itself has 18 floors and is about 180 feet tall. And just to be conservative, we could add 20 feet above sea level, and still it is obvious that 147 feet are not missing from this 200-foot structure. Anyone who's being intellectually honest must admit that there is a problem with the story we have been sold. The numbers just don't add up, the curvature is just not there. And this brings me to my next point, which I think is the most important to understand, and that is the reason why buildings appear to be cut off at the horizon bottom first. If we again consider that our vision is based on two very important and universally accepted concepts of angular resolution, which is the fixed limit of our eyesight, and perspective, which is the system of angles of light entering our eye to create the 3D image in our brain, then we can easily calculate that it is in fact necessary that the bottom of buildings be cut off first due to angular resolution and perspective. So I tried to show in my no angles on the flat earth video how the angles of the light entering our eyes will create the perspective picture for us. That famous perspective drawing where everything gets smaller and disappears at the vanishing point. We know that the light enters the eye and creates the image upside down which our brain then flips 
But what is very important to notice about this process is the point of inflection. The midpoint in the eye where the slope of the light changes. I tried to show this with this crude illustration and you will notice the horizontal midpoint in the eye where the light above reaches the inflection point. And this is in fact the horizon. This is what the horizon is. It is the vanishing point of things above meeting the vanishing point of things below. As you scan from top to bottom, the slope of the line will reach the inflection point and then change to render everything below this inflection point or horizon or vanishing point. I showed in my no angles video how the angles get tinier and tinier as they approach this inflection point or horizon. Now what we need to understand is how angular resolution dictates just how small of an angle we can have in order to resolve everything above and below this inflection point or horizon in our eye. This angular resolution limit dictates how far we can see below our eye level, which is basically how much water we can see standing on the seashore. And then here's the kicker. It also dictates how much of buildings will necessarily be cut off in the distance. This is the best case scenario with perfect vision and perfect atmospheric conditions without any diffraction. In reality, it is usually much worse, but we will use the basic numbers to show that under perfect conditions, buildings must appear to be cut off bottom first. This is simply how our eyesight works. So, if we use an angle of 0 0.02 of a degree as our angular resolution limit, the limit of our eyesight or the visual acuity of the human eye, we can not only calculate the distance to the horizon below eye level, which is often just referred to as the distance to the horizon, or simply how much water we can see standing on the seashore, we can also calculate how much of an object in the distance will appear to be cut off. I am using the camera height of 5 feet and a declination angle of 0 0.02 of a degree to figure out that we can see 2.7 miles of water in this shot. This is done by making a triangle with height of 5 feet and angle of 0 0.02 to figure out the distance as 2.7 miles. And this is also conveniently what the cult storytellers use as their distance to the edge of the magic spinning ball. They have simply chosen dimensions of a spinning ball that just happen to line up perfectly with the limit of our eyesight. It is very tricky, and it's understandable how not many people would look into it. Now, what is happening is that anything smaller than this angle of 0 0.02 of a degree is beyond the ability of our eye to render. It is physically impossible to see any further. We cannot see Europe across the ocean because it is physically impossible for our little eyeballs to see that far. It is a fixed limit. Or, if you do not like having a limit on your eyesight, you can believe the storytellers and Santa Claus and the spinning ball stories. However, and what is conveniently never discussed, is that the same mechanics apply above eye level, above the point of inflection. Anything smaller than the angle of 0 0.02 of a degree above the eye level, above the point of inflection of light entering your eye, is also impossible to see. Not often discussed or even understood, but it is out there. Anything entering your eye at an angle smaller than 0 0.02 of a degree will not render. So if we take the inclination angle of 0 0.02 degree and the distance to the hotel of 17.6 miles, we can solve for the height of this hidden portion or this portion that is seemingly cut off. We make a triangle with a distance of 17.6 as the base, 0 0.02 of a degree as angle A, and we end up with a height of 32 feet. 
add five feet for camera height, and even Superman would not be able to see 37 feet of the bottom of this building. That is a best case scenario. In reality, we are probably losing 50 feet. And the point of all of this is to demonstrate that science, physics, angular resolution, perspective, they all clearly show that objects in the distance must disappear bottom first. This is simply how our eyes work. The angles get smaller and smaller as they approach the point of inflection or the vanishing point or the horizon. The mechanics of our eyes dictate that objects above eye level or above the horizon will disappear bottom first as they approach the vanishing point. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. It is known as vanishing point for a reason. Of course, objects are going to disappear first on the edge facing the vanishing point. This is also how the sun rises and sets seemingly behind the water, but it is simply going out of our ability to see it, or coming into our mechanical ability to see it. Otherwise, it is at an angle that is just too small to reach your eye. Or, if you do not like this, you can believe in Santa Claus and NASA and a spinning ball. So, I hope this makes sense. This is one of those things that is difficult to describe and conceptualize, especially due to the spinning ball programming. But once you get it, it makes perfect sense. It is logical. It explains why we see what we see and how we see what we see. Or, again, you can just believe the Church of Scientism and their magical claims of exploding nothingness into spinning nuclear dinosaur ovens with tractor beams and rocket ships. So sometimes that's more entertaining. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I apologize, I do have a cold, but I had to get this video out there. I'm kind of pressed for time. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching and all the good comments and support. So uh, adios, have a good week. Sit back.